This is Jackney B of class 8 and I am Shraddha of class 8. We welcome you all to the class 8 presentation. Do you know the specialty of this day? On this day, 28 February is considered as National Science Day. So why do we celebrate National Science Day? National Science Day in SD is celebrated every year on 28 February to commemorate the discovery of Raman FM. On this day, Sir C. V. Raman announced the discovery of Raman FM, for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1930. So, are you interested to know more about C. V. Raman? As an Indian, we must know about him. C. V. Raman. Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman was born on 7 November 1888 at Tiruchirappalli in Tamil Nadu. His father was a physics teacher. At the age of 12, Raman passed his matriculation in first division. He became a graduate in 1904. In 1907, he passed his MA examination in physics. He secured highest mark in his examination. He was awarded a gold medal for his extraordinary performance. Since his childhood, he had been an inquisitive child like J.C. Bose. He was not ready to accept anything unless he was fully satisfied. His inquisitive nature helped him a lot about this discovery and which is known as Raman effect. It made him famous throughout the world. and for his discovery he won the nobel prize in 1930 and though he passed away on 21st november 1970 he was the first indian scientist who got the nobel prize in physics In 1928 Sir C V Raman discovered experimentally that the monochromatic light is scattered when it is allowed to pass through a substance The scattered light contains some additional frequencies other than that of incident frequency. This is known as Raman effect. The lines whose frequencies have been modified in Raman effect are called Raman lines. The lines having frequencies lower than incident frequency are called Stokes lines. And the lines having frequencies higher than the incident frequency are called anti-Stokes lines. Next what is Raman's spectrum The series of lines in the scattering of light by the atoms and molecules is known as Raman spectrum The Raman effect can be easily understood by considering the scattering of photons of the incident line with the atom or the molecules Applications of Raman spectrum It is widely used in almost all branches of science Raman spectra of different substances enable to classify them according to their molecular structure In industry, Raman spectroscopy is being applied to study the properties of materials. It is used to analyze the chemical constitution. Good morning my dear friends and teachers. I am Zahra Maryam going to do, do an experiment to show us different liquid has different density. This is dishwa. This is oil. This 
water. See, they don't mix because they have different density. Thank you. Warm wishes on National Science Day to everyone. Thank you. Have a nice day.